Sagittarius, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of October 3rd, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. If you're seeking a personal reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be a crazy busy week with a lot of people involved, okay? Uh, everything you want is within reach. You're going to have to dig for your patience. You're also going to have to put your foot down to uh, someone that is using and or taking advantage of you. There's some major changes drawing near that are actually good, okay? Even though you're going to have to dig for your patience. Now, you're also going to reconnect from someone from your past and the energies around you this week. Uh, Aquarius, Virgo, and Aries jump out, but there's more than that, to be quite honest with you. It's a lot of people. Okay, so first card that jumps out for you guys is the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles says you're working on growing the money you have. In other words, you're not real happy where you are financially. So maybe you're looking at investing, maybe you're looking at uh, savings or something like that, but you're looking at doing something different with your money to make it work for you. With that, we have the Six of Pentacles. Look at there. That says something comes in to restore your financial balance. Now, not only does it restore your financial balance, you'll actually be able to help someone out financially here in the next two to three weeks. With the Queen of Pentacles coming in there again, that Aquarius energy. Okay. Financial stability. Something is coming together. Some kind of financial plan. Something you're working on there. This is coming together for you. Okay. And then we have the two of wands, two paths to take. You gotta take the path to the left, you gotta take the path to the right. You've got a decision to make here. And in the center of your reading, we have the eight of pentacles. So this is money in addition to, this is something in addition to your regular paycheck. So this could be the sale of an item, could be you've cashed in something, some kind of settlement, but it's money in addition to. Maybe a loan has come through. Then we have the tower. Okay, so the tower is nothing to be dreaded, but it is your temper. Okay, something hasn't gone your way. This is you mad. This is you venting. I don't see a confrontation at this point, but you need to know it's at play. Um... You need to understand that a tower card moment leads to sudden changes. It always leads to something better. Okay, it never leads to something worse, but it is definitely your temper. Okay, and with that, we have Ace of Swords, New Beginning and Communication. How you communicate with others, how others communicate with you. Uh, this is also hearing or reconnecting with someone you have not heard from in a while. We have the hangman. You guys are feeling stuck. You're feeling like you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. But perhaps there's just no movement around you. That's not the case here. Okay. Uh, what it is is asking you to be still and be quiet. And the clarity that you seek will actually come to you. And then we have the five of wands. Not everything's perfect. Home life. Conflict. Turmoil. Tension family members okay so not everything is perfect there now let's move forward with some more answers on these cards starting with that three of pentacles with that we have the five of cups okay you're in your head too much or overthinking things okay when you overthink things you take your energy from here to here this is a week that you really like i said dig for your patience Trust where you're being led and just ride it out. See, let things play out naturally, okay? On Six of Pentacles, we have King of Swords. Could be dealing with someone in a uniform. Uh, could be an officer. Could be military, anything like that. Libra energy comes up and it's also could be dealing with someone who's just a know-it-all. Just put that out there. On the Queen of Pentacles comes... Wish fulfillment. So, I mean, the whole week is not a loss here. Wish fulfillment is just that. It also comes with total happiness and total contentment. That might have something to do with your business deals or your money deals. On that two of wands, we have the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles says keep some things to yourself. First thing that comes to mind, a stash of cash. 
put some cash back to yourself that no one knows about. Um, but keeping some things to yourself, thoughts, ideas, and or opinions, okay? Eight of Pentacles, the money in addition to, comes with the Six of Pentacles. That's going to be what restores your financial balance. On that Tower card moment, you guys have the Queen of Cups. Scorpio energy, something here is asking you to open your heart to give love and open your heart to receive love pissed off or not okay so on the ace of swords we have the communication that's about to be reestablished with someone from your past um and this is not someone that you're you're don't want to hear from this is definitely someone you want to reconnect with and on that hangman energy we have two of cups Union, gathering of two people, date night. Five of Wands comes in with, oh, you got two cards here. You got the Three of Wands. Three of Wands tells you to look over the past. What worked well for you, what didn't work well. Take what worked well and apply it to the week of the third. And then we have the Page of Swords. Someone happy, carefree, aloof. Uh, could be day travel or something like that. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Now your bonus card for the week comes out with the sun. As in the sun shines brightly in all that you do. You really guys, I really want to say you need to trust where you're being led. Okay? Going back to what I said at the beginning of the reading. Everything you want is within reach. It's going to be a lot. has to deal with you. Thank you guys for watching. And JackieTelman.com for personal readings. I'll see you soon. Bye.